All right. Here are my picks for UFC Vegas 52. First up, we have Dean Barry against Mike Jackson. Uh, the clear pick here is Dean Barry. Mike Jackson doesn't really like getting hit. He's a photographer and a journalist. Um, Mickey Gall KO'd him. His only win is against uh, CM Punk, who uh, we all know who, how that worked out. I'm going with Dean Barry. Next up, we have Martin Prashnow versus uh, Felipe Lins. Prashnow, he's a good kicker. Um, he's good body kicks. He's got great cardio. Um, Lins does have good power. Um, I just don't think he'll be able to last that long. He's going to gas out. He has low output. Uh, he's also been KO'd by Tanner Bozer, so I'm going to go with Martian Prasnow. Next up, we have uh, Kaling Aori. Forgive me if I uh, butcher the names. Against Cameron Else. Aori is uh, all around. He's a better striker. He's better cardio. He's got good wrestling. Um, he may slow down in the end third round, though. Uh, Cameron Els, um really, he's kind of one of those takedown and sub guys. Uh, and if he doesn't get it in the first two minutes, he's probably going to gas out and lose. So I'm going to go with Aori on this one. Next up, Tyson Pedro versus Ike Vanilla Weva. Tyson Pedro is coming off of a three and a half year layoff. Um, he should be in great shape, though. Um, I think he can win this fight however he wants. Um, Ike really doesn't have any wrestling any submissions he's really a brawler and he kind of has a bad chin and he has a horrible ufc record i'm going with tyson pedro next up dwight grant versus sergi k grant is a little bit of a slow starter but he has power he has reach on him and he's faced better competition than sergi Sergi is coming off a long layoff. He's probably going to slow down. Um, he is eight years younger, so this could end up being a close fight, but I'm going to pick Dwight Grant. All right, Jordan Wright versus Mark andre Berrio. I'm going to go with Jordan Wright. Um, both these guys have been KO'd recently, but Mark Berrio was only KO'd like two months ago. Uh, Jordan Wright has a really good clinch. He usually is a first-round fighter, um, but he should be able to last against Mark Berrio as he's not really a power puncher. Uh, but Mark Berrio could out-wrestle him and hold him down on the ground for, for the whole fight. So you never know. But I am going to pick Jordan Wright. All right. Evan Elder versus Preston Parsons. I'm going to take Preston Parsons. Um, there's, there's not a whole lot to say there. Evan Elder's coming in on short notice. Um, short notice fighters just usually don't do that well. Even though he is 7-0, and um, I just think Preston Parsons is going to get this fight. Um, all right, Lando Venata versus uh, Charles Jourdain. I think I'm saying that right. Lando Venata is, uh, I mean, he has good power. He's a good wrestler. He can mix it up well. Jourdain is usually pretty flashy. And likes to counter a lot. Um, their striking is pretty even. Um, Jordan wrestling and BJJ is not that great. Lando, he moves really well. He's well-rounded. He has a clear path to victory. You know, a lot of people are saying this is going to be the fight of the night. These two people are going to go out and bang. But if Lando Venata has any sort of fight IQ or a great coaching staff... I mean, he should use his wrestling and just take it to him, take it down to the mat, and he should be able to get a clear victory against Jordan if he uses his head. Macy Barber versus Montana De La Rosa. Um, I think Montana De La Rosa is, uh, is going to win this fight. She's bigger. She's a good wrestler. Her striking is, is getting better. Um... I, I think she should win this over Macy Barber, who's just loved by the UFC for some reason. But uh, I'm just not that big on her. Um, we all, and then, uh, oh, did I skip? Oh, Alexander Romanoff versus Chase Sherman. I think Alexander Ron Romanoff should win this one. Um, he should be able to take him down and ground and pound easy or sub him. Chase Sherman is coming in on this fight short notice. He just got re-signed by the UFC to a new four-fight deal right after getting cut. Um, he says he's out of shape. He's just going in there to have fun. Um, he's guaranteed another fight. 
after this no matter what. So, I mean, he's probably going to lose. The co-main event, we have Clegita versus Quadio Poeles. Quadio is not a really good wrestler, but he's great BJJ off his back. Um, he does have a really nice left kick. Guida, he has been submitted a lot, um, but he does have better wrestling, better movement, better striking. Greta, Guida has great fight IQ, so he should know to keep this fight standing, not go for takedowns, and look to gas out Claudio. In the main event, uh, Jessica Andras versus Amanda Lemos. Lemos is a first or second round submission winner. Um, Andrade is going to look to outwork her, slow her down. Um, she just needs to be careful of the first round, maybe hold her on the fence, uh, you know, something like that, get her in a clinch and uh, wear her out, and it'll pay dividends because she'll gas out Lemos and be able to get the win then. Um, both of these females are, are really great power punchers, uh, so that is something to look out for. There are my picks for the first official uh, Fight Night Predictions.